Hey everybody, I'm Raksha and in this video we'll be learning about the differences between Power BI and a paginated report. So let's get started. The first is file extension. So when you save a Power, uh, Power BI, it will be a .pbix, but when you save paginated report, it will be a .rdl file. Next is data sources. So in case of paginated report, you have got limited number of data sources or connection types. But in case of Power BI, uh, you have got n number of connectors and you can even import different type of connectors. The third is visualize using charts. So Power BI report, we have got these uh, default visuals and you can even import different type of visuals from Microsoft Marketplace. Uh, but in case of paginated report, you have got these many uh, chart options. Next is calculation. So uh, generally we uh, have the expression bar or the formula bar wherein we write all the measures and uh, create, you know, calculated columns uh, with this. And we have got inbuilt functions like uh, calculate all the aggregate functions like sum, sum x, average x, uh, filter functions and other different type of functions in Power BI. But in case of uh, paginated report, they have got a different section uh, which, which has got uh, uh, built-in fields so this is how it looks and they have a different way of writing expression so they have got this syntax as you can see below some fields uh, ex uh, exclamation mark billable hours dot value so they have a whole different uh, syntax to follow next is purpose so paginated report are only created when we have huge number of records uh, so let's say when we are talking about transaction profit and loss statements or when we are uh, you know talking about this complete sales history uh, the order history so their paginated com uh, report comes into picture but when it comes to power bi so the purpose could uh, be different uh, it could be used for comparisons or creating insight for some client or to, you know, present on website and uh, um, uh, do some uh, use for some marketing purposes. So there we use Power BI. Next is data modeling. So in Power BI, we have got a concrete structure. They have got data modeling view wherein uh, we can uh, see what all tables are connected to what, what is the cardinality that we are following and what is the filter direction that we are using. And in case of paginated report, again, they have a different view. Uh, as you can see, designer query here, and they have got these tables and all the columns right here. And then you can choose which columns and everything to uh, uh, use for your final data as your final data set. And then you can, uh, you know, set up a relationship. And at the end of it, you will get a SQL query, which will uh, determine how the tables are connected in forms of joins. So for example, table one is connected to table two using some inner join on some particular column. So at the end, a SQL query will be generated every time. Next is report view. So in case of paginated report, uh, you can, you see two, two particular options. One is the designing area and one is the run option. So in the designing area, you see a plain can canvas wherein you can only drag and drop all the columns that you have in your data set. And then after you hit run, then only you will see the complete data, whichever is present. But in case of pow pow power BI report, so, uh, it is very spontaneous. You just have to drag and drop and you can see the visuals right there, the complete data right there. Next is print view. So this is the same um, uh, point uh, related to purpose. So paginated report has a different purpose. It has got n number of records, as I mentioned. So uh, let's say you have got thousand records and it is accum uh, accommodating three pages or uh, four pages. Okay. So um, in case of Power BI, you will not be able to see all those records. You will have a scroller and every time you have to scroll up and down to see the records, right? And when you save as PDF, so it will only give you those records which are there on the visual, right? But in case of paginated report, they have got uh, this pagination uh, feature. So it will uh, give you all the records in whatever number of pages it will take. And so here your records will not be compromised. Next is interactivity. So in case of Power BI report, you have got edit interactions and slicers to, you know, interact with the report. But in case of paginated report, they have got parameters. So with parameters, you can interact with the report. So I hope this was useful. And if you have any other differences, please do drop it in the comments below. And thank you for watching.